how does this onboarding process work? There's five different steps as you can see here. Now, if you take a look at the dots here, there's green and blue. The green dots are for the Power Apps portal. The Power Apps portal is an external facing portal that vendors can use to fill out their information. It just makes it easier for them to do those steps that we were talking about so you could automate a lot of your processes. Um, we don't talk as much about the, the portal and what Power Apps is in this webinar. Um, if you do want to learn more about what Power Apps is or learn more about Power Apps, I recommend you check out our webinars at beyondkey.com forward slash webinar. We have a lot of great free webinars on Power Apps. The other component of this onboarding process is Dynamics 365. And this is where the admins get to add their insights and get to see what's going on from their different suppliers or vendors. So how would the process work? Well, you see it here at the beginning, a vendor registers their organization. They just put their information in there, very simple. At that point, the admin will review the request. Basically, hey, look, um, John from ABC company with the phone number of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wants to join, will you approve or reject that? You say yes or no, and then they move on and you start the onboarding process. You could also at this point, keep in mind that you could start to change what you wanna do with the onboarding process. Like what do you need? What information do you need? Do you need certifications? Do you, need, do you have questions you wanna ask? Do you wanna know about their credit history? So for example, um, if you're working with a vendor and you pay the vendor a certain portion up front. You want to make sure that they're reliable and they're not just taking money from you and you'll never see them again. So it's important to make sure that you know their credit rating before you pay them. If they haven't done the work, if they have done the work, you should probably pay them. Um, the final thing, the final step is once you've onboarded them, the supplier will then perform specific tasks. Remember, they add their own information. They add their own data or like their, their address, their, their identification information, like what their tax ID number is. That's their responsibility. They'll also add certifications and developers. What do we mean by developers? Well, keep in mind, this is an online onboarding process. So we're going to talk about one of the things as a manufacturing company and the manufacturing company has a lot of different products. Well, they're having a lot of suppliers work with them to give them those products. That means that a lot of times they need to integrate that with their e-commerce system as well. So there's a lot of work that developers might need to do to make sure that they're providing tools and resources and, and products at the right time. So developers might have to be able to get better information about that, which means integrating the dynamic system that we're about to show you with their own portal. 